Wild Platform is a multi-surface interactive environment that we created to explore the next generation of interactive systems. Wild features a large, high-resolution wall display made of 32 30-inch screens, powered by a cluster of 16 computers. A key feature is the extremely high resolution. Users can step back for an overview of the entire wall, or move close to view fine details, or to read small text. Wild also features an interactive table with multi-touch capability, and a motion tracking system for tracking people and devices in the room. Laptops, tablets, and smartphones provide interactive personal services and may be combined with handheld devices such as gyroscopic mice to interact with the content of the wall. We work with scientists from diverse disciplines who seek to understand vast quantities of complex scientific data. We use a technique called the Wizard of Oz that helps us to prototype and envision new ways of interacting with this multi-surface environment. For example, one astrophysicist suggested using an iPad as an interactive lens for shifting through different wavelengths of light in a vast image of the Milky Way galaxy. One common requirement is to view extremely large images. Here we navigate an image of the Milky Way galaxy, which is 20 times larger than the wall when seen at full resolution. We developed JBricks, an application framework that supports panning and zooming such large images using, for example, a smartphone. A second requirement is to compare and contrast a large number of related images, such as scans of healthy and diseased brains. Our first prototype enabled neuroanatomists to display and rearrange 64 fixed brain images. Based on their feedback, we created Substance Grise, an application that lets users control the orientation of 3D brain scans in parallel, using a physical model of a brain as an input device. A third common requirement is to combine data and documents from multiple sources in order to look at a phenomenon from different perspectives. Here, one researcher uses the table to organize telescope imagery on the wall. Another researcher uses a smartphone, whose position is tracked, to move and resize images, documents, and websites on the wall display. One option for placing content on the wall is email. The user simply addresses a mail message to the wall and attaches a document. The user can then freely move the document and place it anywhere. The user can also move live windows from his laptop to the table and from there to the wall where they can be manipulated like any other document. Note that these windows are interactive and are updated in real time on both the laptop and in the wall. Finally, users can take notes on paper and transfer them to the wall. Here, a user annotates a handwritten graph with an interactive pen. When he places the pen in the cradle, his notes are transferred to the wall and appear as a document that can be moved like any other. Wild demonstrates both the power and the challenges of multi-surface interaction. We continue to explore this paradigm in the context of the DigiScope project, which will investigate remote collaboration across such environments.